Look at this. Look at this. Started taking my hair out and the curl said we kind of want to stick around for a little bit. Let me turn the camera this way so y'all see what I'm going for. Read, 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 old tear on the streets. Brethren, look at these twists. These twists. These curls. This is looking real cute. Ready? So go. Y'all been asking how I got this twist out to look the way it looked. It's a good thing I filmed it. So let's get into it. I'm starting with blown out hair. Now look at this fullness. Look at this density. Look at the line weight at the bottom. I recently did cut my hair and I'm loving how full my ends are. And one of my goals is to keep the ends as full as they are. I do not want to have thin scraggly ends at all. Like I don't want it. The products I'll be using today is Cream of Nature Argan Oil from Morocco. This is the Moisture and Shine Curl Activator Cream. It's a very, very thick cream but i love it and i'm going in with the extreme gel now this is the first time i'll be using this gel on a twist style i did go ahead and pre-part my hair i think it was four sections in the back and then i did two sections in the front the pre-parting of the hair actually makes it very easy it, it makes the process a little bit more streamlined and just more efficient so initially i didn't plan on using any form of gel i actually kind of improvised <laughs> and decided okay let's use gel because i didn't want my hair to revert but any form of gel or product that has high moisture in it, a high water content, will cause my hair to revert. And obviously, a gel is a product like that. So initially, it wasn't the plan, but it just happened to work out. So I'm not complaining. For each section, I applied my leave-in conditioner to the entire section first. And then I parted my hair into smaller sections and then I applied the gel. That way my hair doesn't start reverting as much because if I apply the gel to the entire section that I'm not yet working on, it will start to revert. And that's totally against the point of the whole blowout process. And I didn't do any perfect parts. I literally used my nails to part the sections down. Because I already had these horizontal parts going, it was very easy for me to part vertically and get a pretty clean line without using a comb. And it was very, very simple, efficient, and effective. Loved it. So as you can see, my hair is looking so good. The hang time is great. There is a lot of white on my hair, but it did dry clear, so I was not worried. And that's just because the gel and the conditioner mixed together to create pretty much like a creamy jelly texture. And it, it just happens to be this whiteness that you see. In the front, I did way more twists than what I did in the back. In the back, I only did a few twists. I wasn't in the mood to make the back very tiny at all. I was okay with having chunkier twists in the back because the plan is to wear it in a ponytail like this. But right now, I'm gonna wrap on my hair and allow it to, to dry. I like to wrap my hair so that when it dries, it dries lay down nice and sleek. I love that. So this is the next day and look at these twists, girl. I was loving this. I haven't seen my hair like this in a while. I have not had the wherewithal to sit down and do my twist this small in a long time, but I was loving it. I was loving the bounce, the texture. It just, my hair looked so good. It felt really good. And this is my first time doing my hair in this style since I've cut it. And I was feeling myself. You can see like, I'm, I'm, I'm loving the bounce. And look at the shine. I had to move the light so you guys can see that. My hair was just shiny. It looked good. It looked good. I'ma love it. I'ma love it. When I was ready to take it out, it was still looking real good. These twists could have went much, much longer, but I wanted to do a detox because, but these were the twists that got me that nice twist out that y'all been asking about. So here you go. Is it recording? Yeah. Okay. <sighs> I didn't prep my hair.